Welcome. From this video, we will talk about the structural materials. In Chinese philosophy, all the things around the world were described made from five fundamental elements or five phases, which are fire, water, wood, metal, and earth. From its superficial understanding, the structural materials match it very well. In the modern structures, the dominant materials are concrete, steel, and timber which are corresponding to the earth, metal, and wood. Fire and water are exactly the necessary media used to produce those materials. A structure is the combination of different materials, how to come up with the combination is a piece of art. The engineers need to understand the performance of the different materials very well, and find the best solution by considering all the boundary conditions. As a big picture of the comparison of the three dominant materials. The steel is superior in taking the tension force. The concrete is superior in taking the compression force. It is very often used in the modern structures in combination. Timber is much lighter than both concrete and steel, while for its non-uniform material property in different direction plus the durability consideration, timber is normally used in residential or smaller scaled structures. Recently, with the increased awareness and attention of the whole society on climate change, decarbonizing from the engineering society has become a goal in the new structures development. It is worth to say, the timber has a much lower embedded carbon compared with concrete and steel. That means the greenhouse gas generated during the timber material production is much lower than that in another two. Wherever possible, the timber structural options has drawn more attention from engineers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe us if you like our video. See you next time.